right, good. Good girl cuddles. So here's what we want out of the puppy. Now she is more of an advanced, because she'll go right into her crate. She likes it in here. Puppies do tend to like it in their crate. She'll come in here as like her safe space, but they have to be introduced to it and they have to realize that it is not a punishment. So when we're first trying to do it, I just want to get her. Good girl. Good girl. I'm not worried about putting the anything on her, not closing it up. I just want her to go in there and when she gets her head in there, you're just luring her in. And now I've got her in there. Now I'm going to try to grab her another tree. So she knows, hey, I'm getting awesome stuff when I go in here. And I can close the cage. Now, it's not about closing it, but it's about letting her know that even when the cage is closed, she's going to be okay. The good thing with having another dog that's already trained is that she can kind of sit here. Like during the night, she'll be able to be sleeping right beside her but this is the same thing this is the first time she's ever been in a crate so it's not it's not that it's anything that's super hard to get her to go in there now i don't want to keep her in there too long because i want her to know hey going in is pretty good and when i get in there i get really nice treats so and then we'll eventually Get her to go in on her own. Oh, now she's trying to find a faster way to get in there. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. That's closed. So as soon as she gets her back feet in there, close it up. This is the first time that she's ever been in a crate by herself so you're seeing it as it happens it wasn't like I've already been working with her forever if this is something that is, this is the first time that she's ever been done just the main thing is you want to lower your expectations it's not always going to be this easy this might be the easiest that I've ever seen it done actually and sometimes you can work on other things like open the crate and then get her to stay in the crate while it's open Good girl, where she doesn't rush out. Cause you're just trying to teach a lot of, it's all about manners at this point. We're not, we're not worried about them learning everything on day one. It's about manners. So she knows, hey, just because the crate's open doesn't mean I should rush out. This is a good place for me to be. So even with the door open, I'll still stay in there. I can still get treats. Another good thing to do is when you're working with the crate is you can get like a little Kong toy and you put that in there, put some peanut butter in it, uh, put some treats in it and just keep it in their crate so that going into their crate is a positive experience as much as possible. So right now I'm going to sit beside her and I'm going to just randomly give her some treats trying to relax. And now look at Cuddles. She likes being in the crate. She genuinely will come in here. Uh, the first, you know, sometimes, and look how little it is. You see how she doesn't really have that much room in there. That is intentional because if this divider was up too far, then she wouldn't have any room. But if it was all the way back, then she could use this back area as a place to go pee and poop and the front area to sleep. So this, by making it a smaller area where she can lay down, it gets her used to staying in a crate and not having a place to pee or poop. And so she'll only go pee or poop when she's out of the crate. You know, this guy, he's still a little anxious, but he's, he had, you haven't heard him bark or anything yet. So this is part of something that you would expect from our puppy imprint program this is something that we 
do offer to our Happy Doodle Farm puppies. You know, they're born and bred on the farm. Good puppy. We uh, offer this, but we're also using these videos as a guide for people who take home their puppies. So if you take home a puppy, this is what you can expect. This is the things that you should work with. So I have another video of the first day of puppy imprint training. This is also first day stuff. We're gonna introduce her to a crate. This may be a little too much room in the crate for her. Although it doesn't look like it, it's just, it's. You want them to have just enough room for them to sit and lay down, but we don't want them to walk around so then they'll go. Right, especially the on, at the beginning when you're there still trying to learn. Now overnight, I'm gonna have to take this puppy out multiple times probably through the night. And that's what you should expect when you take a puppy home. You should expect that if we put her in this crate at 10 or 11 at night, uh, you know, we'll take her out again at like two and probably again at three or four. Um, you know, every two hours, I would get in the habit of getting up, letting the puppy out, hoping that if she goes pee, you can give her lots of either not necessarily give her her treats, but give her positive reinforcement. A lot of a lot of good praise. Good girl, good girl. That's a good girl. And we're wanting to just teach her that hey, being in here is not a bad thing. You're not punished. This is definitely not to be a punishment. So don't put your puppy in here, and because they were bad. I know sometimes you're going to do that. Even if I say don't do that, and even no matter what, because you're going to be like, oh, just get out of my face. You know, they're going to poop on the floor or something. But you're going to, good girl. See, she went back in there willingly, so she gets a treat. She comes out a little. She doesn't even want to come all the way out because she knows, hey, being in here has given me lots of treats. I don't even want to come out because I know this is a good place to get treats. And you want this to be a favorite place because what it does is it does control where they where they can go uh, the biggest thing when you first bring a puppy home is you want to limit where they can go in your house they've still got to learn that there are parts of your house that are off limits they've still got to learn that your whole house is an area that you can't go poop in they don't know that at the beginning. At the beginning, they just think, okay, here's where I sleep. I don't want to poop there, but behind this couch, nobody's even over there. I'll go poop over there. Or, hey, look, this laundry room, it's just a bunch of dirty clothes and stuff. I'll go poop in the back of it. That's what happens. That's what puppies will do because they have to identify that your whole house is a no pooping zone, that your whole house is where you don't want them to pee. And it takes a while. So the best thing that you can do is either keep a puppy on a leash while it's in your house um, in, in the beginning, just so you can always be aware of where it's at, or at least keep an eye on your puppy. A lot of times they're gonna wanna be around you anyway, so it's not gonna be a huge deal. And then you can initiate like a night-night, You hear a little, they see some food. Good girl, night night. And then we close her up. So again, first time that she's ever been in the crate. This is just an introductory. We gotta keep working on it every day. Don't wanna get her burned out, so I'm done right now. This is enough time to get her used to it and get her to realize that I get in here, I get rewarded. I'm also going to try to get like a little Kong toy, put some peanut butter on the ends, put it in there for her, just something to play with, maybe a toy. Uh, right now, I don't put any towel or anything down on the bottom of the crate because it does seem to tempt them more to try to pee on it because they know, hey, it'll absorb a little bit better. So I'm Vincent from Happy Doodle Farm. Um, go to our website, happydoodlefarm.com if you want to learn more about uh, getting a puppy like Piper here or if you want to use the imprint program and if you've gotten a puppy whether it's from us or from anybody the best thing that you can do is work with them as soon as you get home 
so that they will be aware of the rules of your house. They don't automatically communicate with people. They need to learn your communications. They need to learn your rules. So if you're not gonna allow them on, that, you know, on the couch, don't let them on the couch one day, and then the next day be mad at them for being on the couch because they got mud on their paws. Be consistent. And so we're gonna stop it right here, and we'll be back with another video soon.